New developments now in the deadly Fullerton police beating investigation. The father of Kelly Thomas today launched legal action against six police officers. And the city council has decided to hire an outside consultant. Eyewitness News Orange County Bureau Chief Eileen Frere is live in Fullerton with the latest details. Eileen. And Mark, today in a special meeting, City Council said that they did support hiring an independent consultant to look at the policies and procedures of the Fullerton Police Department. They will vote on that officially next Tuesday. Now, also today, an effort to recall. Three City Council members moved a step closer, with recall documents being turned into the City Clerk. I want to implore the you three gentlemen, for the sake of the City, to consider resigning. Calls for the resignation of Fullerton Council members Dick Jones, Pat McKinley, and Don Bankhead during a special city council meeting. Some residents criticized the three for not demanding the public release of a city owned surveillance tape that shows the violent confrontation between police and Kelly Thomas last month in Fullerton. The 37 year old mentally ill homeless man died five days later. The six officers now on leave, we've learned, were allowed to review the videotape one time. Time before writing their reports. I also do not, do not out of hand trust that um, these guys did not have an opportunity to compare and get their stories right. The interim police chief, Kevin Hamilton, who took over yesterday after Chief Michael Sellers went on medical leave, says officers frequently review video and audio tapes to ensure the accuracy of what happened in their reports. The inference seems to be that there was something sinister in that. We were trying to help the officers falsify their reports in some way or uh, make the reports inaccurate. And I'm here to tell you that is absolutely not true. Hamilton stresses the procedure will be reviewed by an independent consultant that City Council approved today to look into how the Fullerton Police Department operates. The Orange County District Attorney's Office is also investigating to determine whether the officers used excessive force as they arrested Thomas on suspicion of auto burglary. Thomas's father has not seen the video, but he talked with the DA this morning about his son's case. Ron Thomas says he left, concerned the video may not show exactly what happened. My feeling is he's relying way too much on the video alone and not the witness statements, not the uh, uh, cell phone videos that are out there, everything else that corroborates what has happened. Now, in the past, the district attorney has said that that videotape is a core piece of evidence, but Tony Rakakis also stresses that other evidence taken from the scene, as well as witness statements, are, taking, are being taken into consideration before any decision is made. Again, that investigation underway by the district attorney's office, as well as a separate investigation by the FBI. Reporting live from Fullerton, Eileen Frayer, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Eileen, thank you.